بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay the next thing we'll try to get into something called Cisco DevNet so DevNet um DevNet is again a Cisco developer program and this program is going to help the developers and the IT professionals so probably what they can do is they can write their own applications and develop their applications and integrate those things with the Cisco products and the platforms so so probably this DevNet is more relevant to something called developers now developers who are responsible for developing some as i said some applications okay so probably in order to do that they require some kind of coding okay so probably what they they are going to do some kind of coding to write an application and that application how it can be used with a specific cisco infrastructure or the cisco platforms or the apis used with cisco so so either they can develop a specific application which can be integrated with cisco or the cisco itself offers you some kind of apis the the apis for communication between the applications or something called software development kits and these are the options which are already present with the cisco so probably the developer can actually use them to integrate those things in their own networks or as per the requirements okay so what they can do is they can integrate those things in any any other vendor as well or uh, and also they can they can do some kind of automation where they can transform most of the manual job by you with the help of this developed applications or the codes or integrating the existing applications in their own networks they can change the manual process to the automated process so that's what a uh, cisco devnet is a kind of software track which majorly focuses on kind of software programming side where you are going to develop some kind of codes uh, for for making the automation process or integrating with your existing uh, network infrastructure how we can automate things so apart from that develop uh, the cisco devnet have a specific kind of community probably where you have something around 500k 500000 developers who are coding for with the cisco devices so probably what you can do is you can access to those specific codes means you don't need to develop the code so if your requirement matches with any specific uh, kind of other requirements you can actually use those specific codes to integrate within your network you can access them or you can also collaborate with some other projects which are which are already running which are the projects what they are already used or even you can share share your own codes so probably what you can do is you can share your codes with the community so that the other people can also get benefited with your codes so the devnet offers you some kind of community you'll find these options if you go to the specific website developers.cisco.com and here you can see a lot of details you can find here So you can you can see here what they offer. They will provide you some learning tracks and video courses from where you can learn the options. And also there is something called sandbox. Sandbox is like the virtual network access given to you. I'll talk about that in a separate video. And you can exchange the course. You can uh, do a lot of things. And on different platforms. So it's not specific to again one platform. It can be relevant to cloud or networking, or it can be a data center automation. or it can be kind of security automation or mobility options so there are different options here again as i said there will be two options either you you might be a developer who uh, probably cisco provides you inbuilt apis and the software development kits that can be used in your production network or you can uh, or you might be an infrastructure or you are, you might be an it engineer who is working in your company and you want to you are doing the manual process and you want to do the automation with the help of some kind of tools so probably uh, it is something for both uh, type of the people 